Black holes are the most mysterious, and most destructive objects in the universe. Even the smallest black hole, could bring a chaotic end to the largest stars. And there are some extremely monstrous black holes out there. You might have heard of TUN 618, the most massive black hole ever discovered. It is a mass equal to, 66 billion suns. That's extremely extremely huge. But just imagine, a black hole, of mass equal to, 100 billion sun, or 1 trillion suns. That's unimaginable. Let's visualize their size. This is the size comparison of Earth and Sun. This is our Sun in front of largest known star Stevenson 218. This is Stevenson 218 in front of our solar system. And this is our solar system, in front of the largest black hole Tun 618. But Tun 618, is still like a baby, in front of these new classes of black holes. Recent study and observations shows, a new class of black hole, which can have mass of, 100 billion, to a trillion suns. These black holes are called, stupendously large black holes. How large are these black holes? Do black holes have a size limit? How scientists found them? How such large black holes are formed? Let's see in this video. To get updated with latest astronomy news, subscribe to our channel. Few years back, scientists theorized that, a black hole can have a maximum mass of, 50 billion suns. But later we discovered TUN 618, which has a mass of 66 billion suns, which suggests that, this maximum size limit can be increased. But the question is how much? 100 billion? 500 billion? or a trillion. First let us discuss in brief, about basic categories of black holes. There are two basic classes of black holes. First there are small stellar black holes. These black holes are formed, when stars more massive than our sun, die in a supernova explosion. These black holes roam around in space, engulfing anything which comes in their path. They eat and merge with other stellar black holes and become more massive. Even the smallest observed stellar black hole, has a mass of five suns. There can be millions of them, floating around in the universe. Second type of black holes are, supermassive black holes. Ones that are found at the center of a galaxies. They can have mass of millions, or even billions of suns. They feed on clouds of dust and stars revolving around them. They can also become bigger, when there is a collision between two galaxies. Tun 618 is one of these. No one knows how these black holes are formed. Now, coming to the new, third category of black holes. These are called stupendously large black holes. These black holes can have mass, equal to 100 billion suns. These black holes can bend space and time to an extreme end. So, how extremely huge black holes are formed? Well, there are many theories, on how these black holes are formed. First we thought, these black holes would have formed as a stellar black hole. Then merged with other black holes, and ate other material and became larger. But then we got an exception. Astronomers discovered the oldest supermassive black hole. This black hole was extremely massive, having mass of 1.2 billion suns, even when our universe was very young, just 670 million year old. Now, this was strange. As there is a limit, on how fast a black hole can grow. And even at the fastest growth rate, no black hole can become a supermassive black hole, at such an early age of the universe. There is another theory, a concept of primordial black holes. According to scientists, these primordial black holes were formed, seconds after the Big Bang, directly from highly dense clouds of gas and dust. This was possible due to, extreme heat and pressure, and also due to the chaotic nature of the early universe. Some scientists also believe that, these black holes could have formed, from exotic matter at the beginning of the universe. So what is the size limit for a black holes? Well, 
there are some limitations to the size of a black hole. First talking about the merging process. There are not many floating stellar black holes, and also, they are at very large distances. So the merging process is very slow. Secondly, there is a feeding limit too. If a very large amount of matter, falls into a black hole then, the black hole gets overloaded, and releases an excessive amount of energy, in the form of jets and radiation. This process does not allow, more matter to fall into a black hole. Scientists believe that, theoretically and practically these black holes can exist. Till now, we did not have any physical evidence of them. But till now, we have just observed, a very very small fraction of our universe. These kinds of black holes can exist, at the center of some huge galaxies. There are trillions of galaxies out there, out of which, we have studied and named some hundreds or thousands. It is impossible to look through, all trillions of galaxies. It is a matter of luck, to find one of these. We can search for extremely huge galaxies. We can also look for some highly distorted galaxies, as gravity of these large bulk holes, can affect the shape of a galaxy. Another way is to look for gravitational lensing. High gravity, can bend more space and time. So searching for extreme gravitational lensing effects, can also take us to these black holes. We can also look for galaxies, with extremely huge and bright cores. We can only hope for the best, after installation of some more powerful and advanced telescopes can help us to find them.